I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video. You guys, I wanted to try some makeup today and I was so torn between just doing a like, trying new makeup video and then I was torn between doing one that was strictly like things that YouTubers made me want to try. So this is gonna be a mishmash of those two things. We're just gonna see what ends up on my face, but some of these are products that some YouTubers made me buy and other ones are just new launches I wanted to try. I guess it doesn't really matter how I define this video, does it? <laughs> this top, by the way, I already know, girl, Old Navy, just bought it, love it. Old Navy really gets you though, don't they? Because they're like, you've earned Kohl's cash, or not Kohl's cash, oh my gosh, I do that all the time. They always say, you've earned Old Navy super cash. And you're like, sweet, but you gotta wait a few weeks so you can use it. And then when it comes around, I'm like, oh, well, I better use it. And I've done the math and really all you're getting is 20% off. Like, cause you always have to spend a certain amount. So I think anyway, so I was curling my hair the other day, burned myself. But the good news was I was also trying to curl my sweet little three-year-old's hair uh, for her birthday party because she wanted to wear her princess crown and it was so cute and she was being so brave because we've never done that before. And I was like, okay, Genevieve, you have to stay very still, like very still. So I'm like nervous, like don't burn her, don't burn her. She'll be scarred for life, you know? And uh, all went well and she was so brave, but her little thin wispy hair hardly held the curl. It was so cute. But after that, I was like, okay, in a rush trying to finish my hair. And of course, that's when I burned myself. I'm like, well... Better me than her, that's okay, we'll cover it with makeup. And it honestly, like it doesn't hurt. I think it'll heal pretty quickly. This, okay, Milani launched a whole bunch of new primers. Look at this. But some of them, they even have a little sticker on there to say it's a new look, but it's the same formula. So the ones that they kind of redid, this no pore zone primer was their Prime Shield one, like in the black packaging. The SPF BFF, which is a very cute name, I think for this, was the Prime Protect uh, primer they used to have. And then their Skin Quench was their Prime Perfection. And then I think these two are new to their line. I feel like there was another one, but uh, this is their Illuminating Primer. It's called their Bright Side. It's got vitamin C and B5. And then this one's their Soothing Primer that has ceramides and wild, ooh, wild oat extract. I need an SPF on and I wanna give this a try. I remember trying the original uh, Prime Protect thing, but that was well, well before, if I'm being honest, I was used to wearing SPF every day and now I'm, I just absolutely, I just do. I feel like when I don't, I start to see a lot of dark spots start creeping in, even when I'm not going outside, you know, just through the window. So this has a little bit of a white cast, you can kind of see. It's blending in okay though. It's not taking like a crazy amount of time, but it definitely is there. But it's not as thick and gloopy as some other ones I've used before. So I don't know that application wise, this is a favorite. Definitely feels hydrating though, and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel greasy, it just feels hydrating. So that's good because you know there are those ones out there that just feel so greasy that you're like, oh, my skin is definitely gonna break out after this, you know? I feel like primers are so hard to judge, you know, sight unseen right away, but it does feel nice. My skin feels and looks very hydrated. My lips are feeling very ragged, hold on. I'm just throwing on the e.l.f. Rider Dye Lip Balm. <laughs> you see me use it a lot and I do like it, but I usually have these like in this little drawer here, so it's just quick and easy to grab, but it is nice. It's a little bit thick, like you have to kind of push it in and warm it up, um, but I really like the way my lips feel. This is their Mighty Mint one. By the way, this does say it's SPF of 30, broad spectrum, lightweight lotion texture, I would agree with that. Natural finish. I don't know what they mean by natural finish. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> because that doesn't really indicate like whether it's gonna be like glowy or matte. Doesn't really, it's not any coverage, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Oh my gosh. One of these I'm really pumped to try. So this is one a YouTuber made me want to try. And we're gonna try it two ways. So Taylor Wynn, you guys know I love her, uh, raves about the Haley's BB Drops. And every time I've watched her apply it over the past few years, it looks flawless on her skin. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I've tried this once before, but it was a while ago and I don't even remember how I feel about it. I don't even think I did it on camera. So I wanna try it again and give it a real shot. So she always says, you've gotta shake it up. This was sent to me in PR a long time ago, so I hope it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. I think it was like maybe a year or so ago. I have it in Fair Cool, but then this brush was recently sent in PR. The one thing I had trouble with the first time I ever used this was I was trying to get it on. I'm like, why isn't it coming out? You have to squeeze this little part. So she would just put a little bit on is that enough? I don't know. And then, okay, I'm gonna try it with the Haley's Beauty brush, but I have my sponge ready to do the other side because I have a feeling I'm gonna like it better with the sponge. That's kind of how I am with everything. But this may be a little light for me. 
I do feel like we have a nice hydrated base though. And sometimes with products like this that are a little bit thinner, I don't love them because I feel like they end up kind of highlighting texture I have on my skin or like peach fuzz. But apparently it has marula oil in it. But you can definitely see like the sheen still through the skin and that's probably both the hydrated base we already have but also the marula oil in it. Oh, that might be too much. We're about to find out. All right, we're gonna do the sponge for this side. Let's try to do it with my left hand. I can't do anything with my left hand. All right, I know I haven't done my, my little Rudolph nose and my forehead yet, but really just comparing, the sponge I think has maybe a little less coverage, but it looks a little more natural, which is always what I end up going for, so I have a feeling I'm gonna tend to like this better, but it, it still looks good with the brush. And I will say in the brush's defense, um, not in the brush's defense, but I don't typically like brushes, but this one wasn't streaky. So that is my biggest gripe with foundation brushes. I feel like they all, looks streaky, but this is one that didn't. And by the way, I know Haley's Beauty sponsors Taylor Wynn and other YouTubers. This is not sponsored, I'm, I'm just trying it. I've also seen people pair this with like a nice kind of pore filling primer. Haley's Beauty actually has one I do like, I've used it in some videos. You don't need a lot, you just get a little bit and you really, it just like fills in the pores and I put it in my T-zone and that's pretty much it. And it, I do feel like it makes a difference. I just don't always have the time to do it. So let me zoom you in. I wanna show you this kind of more up close. It's got the amount of coverage I like, like kind of that medium. It blended in fast. I think the packaging is unique. I like that it's got marula oil in it. My skin tends to react really well to things with marula oil in it. And I've even used just pure marula oil like in my skincare routine when I have it. Covered that, not bad. I wonder if I put another little drop on it and blend it. Maybe I'll do the brush. Let's see how it does. That is, <laughs> that's pretty impressive for a little kind of BB oil. I feel like this is what the Kosas Tinted Oil, what I was hoping it would be like, but this is way more my speed. Does that make sense? Like it's got a little bit more coverage. It's easier to apply. I don't feel stressed out. I like, I would feel stressed out using that Kosas oil. Anyway, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's so exciting. Um, I'm watching <laughs> Disney Dan on YouTube, who I love, and I'm gonna throw on some concealer. I'm trying to think of what else I'm trying. This is just the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. Uh, I just feel like it stays in place really well throughout the day and it has high coverage. It's expensive though, but it's, it's, it is nice. It's not my favorite concealer ever. I, I need to do a video on like my top favorite concealers. I know because I have different concealers for different purposes, but I have definitely found the ones that I feel really strongly about. So let me know if you'd like to see like my top favorite concealers because I would be glad. I feel like concealer is the thing that like, it's so hard to find the right ones for yourself and I, I think I found them. But this is, I, this might, this would probably be in my top five list. So I also just did my brows really quickly. I used the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. So the next thing I wanted to try is one that Jamie Page loves. So this was another YouTuber made me want to try it type product. It is their 10 second eyeshadow. And to be honest, I was sent these a while ago and I kind of put them in a drawer and never tried them. Cause I was like, I don't get it, it's super liquidy but she fell in love, like it is a deep, deep love for her with this shade called Globe. So we're gonna give it a try. It looks gorgeous on her, so it's a doe foot. It is really, I mean, it is a liquid product that hopefully we'll have time to kind of blend into the crease. That seems to be the way, like I typically have seen her wear it, is just like this alone as a one shadow look, which, yes please, love a one shadow look. I'm a little nervous, let me get my, blending brush ready to go. Okay. Just gonna kind of paint it on. Oh, it feels really cooling and so it feels nice. Oops, um, I have allergies and my eyes are a little itchy so it just feels good. So now we're just gonna kind of blend lightly on the edge. Feel like I should like let it dry. <laughs> Need a teeny tiny fan. So first of all, just looking at it with and without, it definitely looks like I, I was gonna say it looks like I have eyeshadow on, obviously, it's not what I mean. What I mean is it looks like I've like tried. It kind of looks like I have more than one eyeshadow on, like maybe I have a lighter one on the lid and something deeper in the crease, so it looks more complex than it really is, which I love. Based on the swatch, however, it's not nearly as shimmery as I was hoping, so I'm gonna add on, now that it's dried, another kind of layer to it to see if I can get that shimmer to kind of stay. You know what I mean? Now I have to see this. Did I mess it up? <laughs> so I feel, <laughs> I gotta pause the video and watch it. So I feel like it did add a little bit more, but not a crazy amount. So even though when you swatch it, it looks like 
really, I guess I shouldn't say shimmery. It really is more of a sheen. It's not like there's glitter in it. So, but it looks pretty, right? I'm kind of excited. It's a little different than like, I feel like when I saw it on her, it looked glitterier, but in a pretty way. So I was kind of hoping for that, but I do think it's still really pretty. Yeah, look at that shimmer when you first apply it. But it blends so nicely. Like you really do have 10 seconds, probably a little bit more, to kind of blend it and it blends so easily so you don't have harsh lines. Cause think about it, with a liquid eyeshadow, typically that's exactly the problem. You end up with like harsh lines cause it dried in one area before you had time to kind of blend it in. And in this one, I feel like the shimmer stayed a little bit better. There we go. I think I just needed to shake it up a little bit more. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I kind of, I'm so glad I finally tried it, but I really do think layering it at least a second layer, but also really shaking it up and re-dipping it every time you use it. I think my mistake was for my second layer. I don't think I re-dipped well enough and that was part of the problem, but look, I love the sheen it gives. That was so quick and easy. And I feel like the more I use this, the more I'll fall in love with it because it's so fast and it looks so multi-dimensional. Holy moly. So if you've tried this and there are other shades you love, please let me know. Might be interested, but I feel like this is totally a Jessie shade. Like love it, love it, love it already. Okay. Next thing is the Essence Blush and Be Fitting. Taylor Wynn made me want to buy this too. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's true. <laughs> and I actually bought this a while ago and hadn't tried it, but I've tried these Essence blushes before. Have I? They're so inexpensive, you guys. And this shade looks like the perfect shade that I would like. It's not, it looks like it's, I don't want to say matte. It's a silky smooth powder blush, um, but it, it kind of more satin than anything. But this shade looks like a perfect dupe for like MAC well-dressed, which was a favorite of mine for a long time. I mean, if I still had it, it still would be. Yeah, it's like this kind of lighter. So if you're closer to my skin tone, oh, I shouldn't say too light because, uh, Ooh, that fast. I love a good cool toned, like lighter berry type blush. And this definitely is it. So I'll have to mess with it. I think I need to use a little bit of a lighter hand, although I love blush, so I don't even care, but I'm liking it. That was easy. <laughs> I feel like at this point, if you watch makeup YouTube videos, blushes are just good. Like it's very hard to find a blush that's not great. Like unless it's crazy patchy or it doesn't wear well and it's really pretty, <laughs> I have nothing else to say. By the way, the other products I used were, this is what I use every day, the Makeup by Mario Brown Eyeliner, it's my favorite. And then the mascara is the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. Oh, I used to set the rest of my face the number seven Lift and Luminate Powder. You can get this on Target. It's definitely one of my favorite, favorite under eye powders, but I used it in my T-zone today too. And then, Oh, my bronzer was the Danessa Myricks Cream Bronzer. I love this, I talk about it a lot. It's beautiful. So the next product we're gonna try is from Milani. It's their baked highlighter in number 110. I don't, I don't know. I don't think the baked highlighters are new, but I don't know if this is a newer shade. Okay, these are softer than they used to be. I can tell you right now, I feel like back when I tried their baked products, they were scratchy and kind of rough on the surface. And this was the silkiest thing I felt in a long time. <laughs> Okay, can't wait. So I wanna put some of this on the brow bone for sure and then like in my normal highlightery regions. I can't believe how soft this was. I was fully prepared for, I don't know, just for it to be rough. Don't you feel like a lot of baked products are just a little bit rough and you think they wouldn't be, but this is softer than you think, okay? So if you've been like me and thinking, I don't wanna try, it'll be rough. Holy moly. Wow, there were not a lot of duds. Oh, okay. I have owned this. I bought this like a year ago. Still hadn't opened it because I was waiting for a video and then anyway, doesn't matter. This is one I bought because Alana Davison here on YouTube has talked about loving. It's from the brand RMS Beauty and it's their Lip Shine in the shade Sublime. It is this like beautiful poppy pink, but I'm kind of just curious. Yeah, so it's it's kind of sheer. It's not like it's gonna go on crazy pink, but I think, I hope it looks nice. It feels really comfy, and this is a really pretty pink. It feels, it just feels really balmy and comfy, but I like 
that again, I did not need a mirror for that. I really could have just grabbed it out of my purse, thrown it on. And I, because it's more sheer, like if you are wearing a mask, you're not worried about it getting absolutely everywhere. No smell at all. I will say this, RMS is pricier, but I've never tried anything from them I didn't like. I can't think of a single thing. They're um, like potted highlighters. I love, you just tap them on and they look so beautiful. So if you were like wanting to dip your toe into the brand, but I like this. I think this is gonna go straight into my purse. I feel like this is like the perfect color for spring and summer right now. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put this straight into my purse. So yes, that was so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed just playing with makeup with me. I hope y'all are doing okay. By the time you're watching this, I'm probably in Disney World. We are gonna be vlogging it. Those will be on my husband's channel, um, which is Tyler Travels TV if you wanna catch those when they're up. I will probably still post to Instagram while I'm there. So if you wanna see a little bit of our trip, I'll have that over on my Instagram, which is at it's Jessica Braun. I love sharing that, I'm so excited. I hope that you'll subscribe. I do upload three videos a week and I would love to have you join our little family here and I'll see you guys in my next one.